some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in San Antonio, Texas, where we find a band of misfit frauditors who just want to cause trouble at the Department of Human Services. And when the police show up, they just want to talk down to them as if they're a bunch of little children. How disgraceful. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. No, we're not here for you. We're here to educate these public employees. We're here for the people, brother. We've been told that these people don't treat the people so well, so we're here to make sure that they do their job today. We've got at least five frauders involved in this. News Now Ninja, Good Citizen News, and I forget who else, but it doesn't really matter. The point is, this is the Department of Health and Human Services where people go to apply for government assistance. Food stamps, WIC, everything like that. This is kind of a private time for them, and they don't need anybody bothering them coming in here with the camera and acting like a complete moron. So why don't you pack up and go? You're not going to touch me. You're not gonna touch me, I'm going to defend myself. I can guarantee you that. Don't matter to me. I'm asking you. You're going to be done with me. You've got to put your hands on me. You're going to get you. Get out of here. I'm going to defend myself. Put your hands on me. You're going to get you. Get out of here. I'm going to defend myself. Put your hands on me. You're going to get you. Get out of here. I'm going to defend myself. Get out of here. You're not going to 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 get out of here. There we go. Just observe and report, brother. Walk away. Okay, observe and report. Man, You're security. Here, what are you guys are you that here, man? We're, we're doing our job. Well, Just let us do our job. You do your job. That's your thing, man. You don't belong in here, dude. Sir, your job is to observe well, and report. You know what my job is, man. Okay, well, don't tell me how to do my job. I won't tell you how to do yours, okay? Shoo, shoo. Shoo, shoo. Kick rocks. Don't come at me aggressive. Think you're going to intimidate me, Mr. Smith. Punk ass motherfucker. The reason we're here is because they treat people like crap, so we're here to document that. And there you go. There's the sign right there that tells you you can't record it here because of privacy issues. But no, you are too much of a dishonest, morally bankrupt, jackass moron to even understand what that means. A few moments later. Why does everybody go straight to that? Recording kids. Yeah, yeah, yes, they are recording kids. kids they have. On the ceiling. Yeah, look at those creeps. They have all these cameras on the ceiling recording your kids. What you see? Independent journalists. Independent. Okay, so for me, I refuse to be on camera or film or pictured or anything else. I can't speak for anybody else. Yeah, and if I was commercial, well, then you would have the, the you know? Uh, from you guys. Oh, but they can film you. Well, they have to, they're doing their job. I know they're from the state. Y'all are freelancers. Okay, well, let me explain this. This is a public building. Okay, so these, they're from the state. Ma'am, okay. let me explain something real quick and let yes, me sir. maybe help you, you know, yes, chill out a little bit. This is a public building, so I can do public information requests for all these videos, and I can watch you. Pardon me, ma'am, but let me explain something to you. He thinks that he has the absolute right to film anything that his eyes can see. He has no concept of the issue of privacy whatsoever. And he would be more than willing to dox 
any one of those people in that building if it means he could get a buck out of it. Dude, I'm saying I'm saying there's no nefarious. We have no nefarious, no ill will, no ill intent. We're here to make sure the government's doing their job. That's it. It has nothing to do with the people. It's like imagine like when you watch a movie. When you watch a movie, when. Of course not. But that's why I said we ought to do your jobs. Please do it well. Yeah, in a movie, like you don't remember all the extras in the background, right? You only remember the person that makes face. And so now you've become someone that people will remember. But if you never said nothing to people, people will never remember you. You see what I'm saying? So don't bring attention to yourself if you don't want to be on the camera. Is all I'm saying. I understand. You should be. You should be happy with the more freedom that we have in the first amendment. I hope you don't think that we're here for anything bad, though. We're we're here for the people. Yeah, but these people treat people like crap, so we're here to make sure they do their job right. Like, controversial speech isn't meant to cover what everybody likes. It's meant to cover what's controversial. Public opinion is starting to turn on you, dude. You got that one woman in the back. Now I'm hearing other people in that line talk about it. You might want to rethink what you're doing here. You're not, yeah. even, you're not even asking you're us not if you're allowed to like reveal your kids. So first of all, what you guys need to do is you need to go outside and you need to ask each person if they can be recorded. Did, you, did they ask permission each person? They didn't ask you for You know why? Not. You know why? Because this is a public place, like the park. You know? Yes, I, don't want you to I don't ask permission you for rights. You know? And I don't know what's the deal with the camera. So record. Well, What's the deal with any camera? We were at peace right now. Look yeah. at what you just created. Exactly. You don't even know just me and you were rude to me. Just don't record my kids. You just made yourself just the story. Just remember that. Just don't record my kids. Okay, don't bring attention to yourself sir, and your kids. Okay? you're bringing attention to your own self because you want to, sir. Gosh. I don't know what's the deal with Karen, you. Karen, Go ahead. calm sir. down, Karen. You know what? We're going to call the cops on you. Call them. Because look at what you're just creating. You are. You're not even asking us if you can guys record our children. How's it going? Um, how, how can we help you? Uh, we're just here to get a little public information, what y'all okay. have to offer, what kind of services are provided in this building. Okay. First of all, you changed your story. You wanted to originally hold them all accountable because you said these this place was being nasty to the customers. Now it's about, oh, I just want to know what services they give. You already know that, you moron. Um, I see that there's some obviously some patrons that you have here that are uneducated on our First Amendment right to gather content for a story and disseminate to the public. So I would hope that you could de-escalate these people, let them know that we have the right to. You have the right. But yeah. We have to. We have to basically protect our. So privacy. wait, you said we have the right. First thing you said. Okay, so please let them know that. I'm glad you have the right. Let them know that we have okay, the right. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to ask you to leave. Okay, you can ask me all day. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Cool. I am respecting everybody by standing for our rights. We all know you're full of shit. We know it's not about protecting anybody's rights. You just want to line your pockets with YouTube money. But anyway, let's skip ahead to when the cops arrive. 15 minutes later. Yeah, well... I understand that, and then you can understand where they're at too, okay? Oh yeah, I mean, um, a lot of times they just have never dealt with I know, the I know, but I, I, yeah, I made a mistake saying this is private property, but you know, this is this is a public, public uh, building, but the thing is, because if they ask and they don't want you on property, you know, because they are in charge of the building here, they have the right to criminal trespass, you guys. If, if we break in the law, and I'll tell you. But the thing is, but the thing is, you being inside is making the the, the employees that feel uncomfortable. They're making the me uncomfortable. That's their feelings. That's, that's not law. I'm, I'm, yeah, unfortunately, um, we're I'm not law enforcement. You're law enforcement. You enforce right. the law. Doesn't matter what their feelings are. But I don't think okay, they, yeah. they have yeah. to call the uncomfortable yeah. police. Do they do, I COVID, do they do COVID testing here? No, no, no. I understand that. I understand. But if they told, if they tell you these things, then you don't need them. So you're gonna arrest them for trespassing? Yeah, yeah. Well, from, then we'll see what we're gonna do. Okay, now. Rogue Nation is really pouring on the bullshit here. Of course, you can be trespassed from a government building. Whoever's in charge of that building can trespass you. Yes, they can trespass you, whether you commit a crime or not. In, in the United States, we're all taxpayers, right? 
And with public property, we, there's what's known as a liberty interest in public property, okay? The reason that is is because we all pay money for this property. And so when conducting a First Amendment activity on public property, unless we are breaking some other kind of law, then they have no I'm right to it. The no right to it's discrimination they, at that point. They, they, they don't want you on property. It's I, because of I discrimination. And I said, they're, they're, I, know we're not, I know you're not trying to get their information. Or Can like you that, imagine that they're, the they're just... They just don't feel comfortable. So with you're telling me, according to you, listen, the government right. never feels comfortable when it's ex and when exposing corruption. Yeah. Hey, can you imagine just, what would yeah. happen? I just, if I just watching this, but imagine if, we, if black people were, uh, you know, making feel uncomfortable and they didn't want them on the property. Remember that back in the '60s? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so they, making oh, people yeah. feel uncomfortable is not allowed. That's discrimination. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, now you're really comparing apples to oranges. You're comparing Jim Crow era laws to what this is. You are out of your damn minds. What went on up until the 1960s was basically segregation where separate but equal Jim Crow laws where black and white water fountains were the standard in the South. How can you even compare the two? Move on to the next. Some educations are harder learned than others. So I appreciate y'all enjoying this video. Mr. Smith, I'm gonna find out who you are. File a complaint to your uh, supervisor. Hope y'all have a blessed day. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. Yes. No problem, man. So what did they say? So I, I told them, well, he said he's gonna trespass me. Then the uh, dude in charge of the property said, no, y'all can take pictures. So now the dude in charge of the property started backpedaling, saying, no, well, y'all can take pictures as long as you don't publish people's private information. I said, yeah, we're not here for that. Then the officer's like, we're gonna trespass you, we're gonna trespass you, we're gonna remove you from this building, we're gonna arrest you. And I was like, the guy just said we could take pictures, what's going on with the miscommunication? I was like, sir, so you don't, you know that I can take pictures, I'm gonna do my last lap undisturbed, and then I'll be out of here. And he was like, no problem. So I did my last little victory lap, and I'm out of there. Okay. Um, you know, um, the officer, uh, the officer still doesn't get it. He still doesn't get it, but uh, it seems the public employee did yeah. what was right. In the end, he almost made a mistake. Okay. Boss, did you get a supervisor on the way? Did you want to speak to him? Uh, yeah, if I could. I, I, want I, I, I want to make sure that the law is correctly understood here today. Okay. Yeah. yeah, Rogue Nation, Grandmaster YouTube law expert. So inept in the law, I wouldn't trust him to hold my backpack.